click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study a new property that is a differentiation property but in discrete time Fourier transform. So first of all we will see the statement and then we will move on to proof. So first of all if x of n dt of t is x of omega that is x of n is represented in discrete time Fourier transform as x of omega then n into x of n n into x of n dt of t is represented by j d by d omega of x of omega now this is our whole statement and we are going to prove my n into x of n is nothing but my j d by d omega of x of omega so let's see how to prove now from this equation you can say that we are going to differentiate our x of omega with respect to omega and this is x of omega is nothing but the definition of dtft so let's see how to solve this property so first of all we we'll write the definition of discrete time Fourier transform What I am going to do, I am going to differentiate both the sides but with respect to omega. So what you will get? Now look at it from this right hand part which term we can differentiate but with respect to omega of course the answer is e to the power or you can say exponential function and we have studied the differentiation of exponential function differentiation a simple formula d by dt of e to the power 80 is a into e to the power 80 suppose if we have a plus or minus sign in front of a so we will do the multiplication with plus or minus a and we will have the same power in the exponential term. Now we will use the same differentiation rule and we will apply over here and what will be the result? Let's see. Here I am going to differentiate this e to the power j omega with respect to omega. So my a value is minus j n. Here my a value is minus j n. Reason is we are going to differentiate this e to the power minus j omega by n with respect to omega. Now we will use this formula over here or else you can say that if you know the differentiation then we will directly apply differentiation on e to the power minus j omega n. Now, so as I said, we have only omega term in exponential part. So we will only differentiate e to the power minus j omega on right hand side. So what is the result or what will be the result after differentiation? Here, as I said, my a value is minus j n because omega is the variable. So we will multiply this whole value by minus j n. Now, in this summation, this minus j is a constant term. So I'll write minus j outside this bracket or summation value. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider n x of n is my input. Now suppose if I multiply both the sides by j then Here, j into j is j square, and j square is minus 1 and minus minus become plus. So we will have only this summation bracket. Now, this is nothing but the definition of DTFT of any input discrete sequence. Suppose if I consider my discrete sequence is n x of n, then my answer is j d by d omega of x of omega. I can write this right hand equation. 
dt of n x of n result is and this is nothing but the proof of a differentiation property now in the statement we will get the idea what to do while deriving the proof now we will see a next property in next video but for that stay tuned to ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further more videos thank you so much